Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Well, the weather's been great the last couple days or so, but uh, not so with this front coming in right now. It's a dry front, so very dry, low humidity conditions, windy. We'll see gusts of 40 miles an hour here overnight and tomorrow morning, and not much cooler. It's going to be colder across the region. How cold? We're going to have a 50 degree drop in temperature from our high today to the low tomorrow night. 50 degrees, that's a big front. If it happened in January, it would be more like 60 degrees. So this is the real deal. With a freeze likely in our northern counties, it could be the third freeze of the season uh, up to the north. We've had two freezes in Corpus Christi. I really don't think we're going to see a freeze here, but you want to water the tender plants tomorrow night once the winds come down before sunset to give them a little extra insulation from this cold air. Chilly the rest of the week. You like uh, below normal temperatures. You're going to love uh, the weather between now and sunrise Saturday. Satellite and radar shows clear skies here. There is some activity in the Gulf, of course. It seems like it always rains out there. They never have a problem getting rainfall to the east of us, but we need it here. Unfortunately, this front uh, coming through dry as expected and pulling down very cold air out of uh, western, central, and southern Canada into our region, and that's going to be with us till this high settles over south Texas later this week. That high moving in behind low pressure and around this upper level low right here is going to result in some uh, bone chilling temperatures for the end of February. South Texas, very dry air in the region, so the sun will take the edge off the cold air tomorrow and also on Thursday. Without that, we'd see highs only in the 40s, but as it is, we'll be near 60 degrees. Dew point temperature is 52, but it's only 45 in Mathis, so the drier air is coming in from the west, and those dew point temperatures drop into the 20s tomorrow morning and hold there all day tomorrow and all the way through Thursday. Notice the dew point temperature of just 28. That's bone dry. Uh, here on Thursday morning. I feel for you farmers because there's not a lot of moisture to work with and it's almost time to plant. Here's the uh, wind and again they are going to be uh, breezy to windy here through midnight and then windy overnight and in the morning. 15 to 25 with gust to 35 at 8 o'clock in the morning. The winds continue to howl through the day tomorrow and then they slowly come down tomorrow night and here it is on Thursday morning. These lighter winds are certainly going to result in a freeze in the inland areas of South Texas. Not here in the city, but very, very close. 71 right now will be down into the upper 50s by midnight and down to near 50 degrees prior to daybreak with a north wind at 26. Lows tonight will reach down to 45 degrees here, 42 in George West, 50 in Port Aransas on Mustang Island. It's going to be a rough start in the morning. You bundle up 56 at noon with sunshine but wind and 59 sunny and windy at 5 p.m. And the highs tomorrow will only be in the 50s here but 60s to our south. All right, there's what's doing at that big upper level low that will be moving out over time. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. 45 tonight, 55 tomorrow, 33 here in Corpus Christi. We've already had two freezes. I think we'll stop just short of it because of the wind and 60 here on Thursday, 36 and 69 Friday. Saturday looks gorgeous, but then the warming trend brings more humidity, wind, and clouds for Sunday through Tuesday of next week. Right. So it's going to be close to freezing tomorrow night. That's the message. Okay. Thanks for that, Dale.